everybody and welcome back just after breakfast uh, it's a much calmer day today it's nicer we're making good speed we're about uh two days i reckon north of um uh, madeira uh, i'm gonna go to porto santo uh, an island to the northeast of the main island of madeira uh, it looks like i'll be in there probably i don't know probably two days so uh hope you enjoy watching this week and uh, some nice sailing footage and uh, exciting to get to uh, to Madeira. It's been a great passage so far. So I uh, hope you enjoy watching. This is what happens. This is what happens when I do something stupid. I was opening the top of one of the, my water tanks to have a look in. And anyway, the top of the tank, when I unscrewed it, slid off and went <coughs> down into the bilge and I can't reach it. So I'm gonna to have to take up the floorboards and get it. <laughs> oh God, so silly. I thought there'd be access in from the, the floor panel that's easier to remove, but there's a bulkhead there. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to take all this up, the table off, everything. Good God. Solution for now is I lashed a bit of cling film over the top to keep the dirt out as I remove everything. Can't believe I did that. Well, things have livened up. Uh, the forecast is correct. We have about force five, touching six. Um, and we're flying along. Uh, I got soaked making that video, but it was just so exhilarating. I had to go out and, and, and uh, share it. Um, I have a triple reef main. I reefed the Yankee and have a full stay sail and we're doing eight, nine knots. Uh, and kind of a beam reach on course for Madeira, which was great. So uh, I'll show you the footage now, it, it was uh, fun, but I was getting so wet, I had to come in and the camera was getting, well, the camera's in a waterproof case, but uh, I used the GoPro and one of them had it the wrong way around. But anyway, I don't know if it'll work in the video, hopefully. Uh, so I'm probably gonna reef again. I don't like when we go over 15 degree heel. And I, I, I don't like pushing the boat if I don't have to. I'm not racing or I'm not, uh, you know. So when I'm doing seven and eight knots, that's okay. So uh, have a look at this and see what you think. So I reefed her down again, and uh, she slowed down to six or seven knots. We're, uh, you can see where we are, we're almost west of Lisbon, and we have 444 nautical miles to Madeira, which is great. So it's, if we could keep the speed up, it's only about three days, four days, depending on what the weather does. But uh, much more comfortable now. I'm just waiting for the kettle to boil, and. What a lovely view, Willem. <laughs> I could just stand there and look at that all day. Ripping along seven knots. Beautiful. Just lovely. Here's a trick I have when it's rough, and it is kind of rough today, actually. It is quite rough. So while I'm getting my everything, my coffee and stuff in the cup, I put it in the pot that's on the gimbals so it doesn't spill. <laughs> I know that sounds simple, but it, it works very well. If I was to leave that up in the sink or somewhere, that's it, it's gone, it's spilled. Anyway, that's what I do. Another bit of useless information from Peter. <laughs> but coffee is important, I don't like spilling it. 
Here's the view out the starboard side. Uh, we're heeling over too much. It's lovely though when you can see it. Waxwing is great the way she just rises to every wave. Beautiful and just surfs down along. The so this is my water maker running for anyone that's interested. It's a Spectra Ventura 150R, the R is for remote. And this is the new addition I put onto it, the Z-Ion for flushing it. Uh, it's a lovely system that I fitted last year. given to me by uh, oh man it's rough today by EPS in uh, Ireland so you often wonder probably why I have so many taps one of them is uh, just the waste from the water maker and I didn't want to drill a hole in the hole so I just ran it to the sink and it's very handy because when it's running I wash the dishes as you can see wash myself it's salt water but I mean it's okay it saves me running fresh I do, uh, I do rinse then with fresh water. I, I don't uh, just wash myself in salt water, but uh, and sometimes I, I rinse the cups as well, depending on the water, but because uh, I don't want salty coffee. <laughs> so that's, that's one of my uh, chores today, and I was filling the water tank, even though I lost the lid off it yesterday, but I have, uh, I have a, a plastic cover over it for now until I, I'll probably uh, repair it when I stop, or, or get the lid back when I stop. I'm not going to ripping up the floor and the table now. So my wind and solar uh, have more than enough to run the 12 volt water maker, which is great. It's a bit noisy now, but it just hums while it's running. So everything else is good on board. Everything's a mess really, but it's an organized mess. <laughs> just making some scrambled egg this morning. I thought today was. Uh, I thought today was, was Monday and it's actually Sunday. Big swell out there. I can't go out with the camera, it's way too wet and there's water breaking across the decks. But uh ignore the mess up here, I just have a lot of stuff stored up there. But we're sailing along beautifully. Re reefed Yankee, full stay sail and a reef main. Woo! Uh, I was going to. Oh, I was going. <laughs> I was going to. I'm trying to hold the camera and hold on at the same time. I was going to make uh, bread today and cook a really nice dinner, but uh, I'll show you up above actually. I had to mute the sound on this because it was so windy. It was about 25 knots uh, while I was up on deck, but I had to go up and, and film it. It was so beautiful. Doing about eight knots, touching nine. Uh, just flying along with a reef main, fully reef main, and the stay sail and a tiny bit of the Yankee. Uh, it's all we need. You, you, uh, I don't think I'd make it go any faster anyway, even if I put up more sail. But uh, beautiful. Uh, pointing into the wind, uh, the waves on the beam, beautiful. The other thing about it, ooh, the other thing about it being um, uh, water breaking across the decks as I got all the hatches closed it's really hot in here so that's why I didn't bake bread today or cook a big dinner I just uh, snacking it seems it's Sunday I should make a big dinner <laughs>
Good morning. It's uh, Monday the 5th of September. I'm just writing in the log and doing a bit of navigation. Uh, I'm going good. Uh, the wind has dropped off to 10, 11, 12 knots. So I'm just about to go up and uh, shake out the reefs in the mainsail and put out the full Yankee. And I want to power on down uh, as fast as possible towards Madeira as it looks like there's kind of a, a dead zone wind-wise uh, just north of uh, Porto Santo. So that's the plan. I had the coffee, had the cigarette, everything else done. It's um, a beautiful day, so nice to get out on deck. I, I get out on deck as much as I can. It's good for, it's good for you. And uh, feel the sun on the body and charge up. And then once I get moving and get back on course and get speed up, uh, have breakfast. exercise first thing in the morning. Wind has died off, down to 10, 11 knots. So all sails up again. Want to make good time before, because uh, it's kind of a dead zone north of uh, Madeira. So push down south as fast as I can. just reefed and we've only uh, 13 knots of wind and we're doing six seven and touching eight knots as well on a course for Porto Santo which is good uh, well actually it's a course for Madeira now but anyway very very similar a few degrees uh, the forecast I just downloaded and you can see that there is like a dead zone here so that's not the end of the world and run with the spinnaker for the last day if I have to so anyway, we have plenty of wind today and then it eases off tomorrow, but nearly there we have what? Uh, 189 nautical miles left to go. Woo! And I think I'll stop in Porto Santo. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll anchor either along here. I was talking to my friend Ricardo this morning. He said that that is the longest beach in Portugal. Ricardo's Portuguese. And he recommended uh, anchoring in here. It's well protected. So I probably will. We'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Woo! Oh, thank God. That's good. So what I did is I got some of them opened and I wedged. I wedged it up just to, enough to get my arm in and I'll screw them back now and then I have my lid back for the tank and I will never drop it in that hole again. Woo! 
much calmer today so i'm making a nice um some pasta kind of a onions garlic tomato sauce and a can of spam <laughs> chopped up to go in on top of it so that'd be nice it's a lovely day today and I'm about 60 miles from Porto Santo in Madeira. Porto Santo! Woo! Pointed as high as we can, as you can see. But uh, if the wind shifts, we'll be able to get around and, and point up more for it. But anyway, wow, land ho. Beautiful today. Big long Atlantic swell, light winds. Beautiful and very hot, 30 degrees today. That's what that's where it's sweating. Oh, there's so, Porto Santo and Madeira in the distance. I don't know if you can see it there with that. Beautiful day. Beautiful day altogether. Big long Atlantic swell. Wind is up slightly. We're pointing as high as we can go. You can see by my uh, Portuguese courtesy flag. We're right into the wind. All sail up. And making five knots. We're 40 miles uh, from Porto Santo, believe it or not. So that's about eight hours and it's 4 p.m. now. 1600 hours. So we should be there uh, about two in the morning, drop anchor. So that'll be uh, Wednesday morning and I left on Saturday. So that's seven, eight, nine, nine and a half days nonstop from Ireland to Madeira. That's pretty good. Well done Waxwing. <laughs> Look at that for a beautiful day. And a beautiful night to come in with the moon. We just started the engine, I'm going to anchor then off the beach of Porto Santo. So all cleared in with uh, customs and uh, all that side of stuff done. And it's beautiful here. Absolutely beautiful. Got my laundry done as well, which is a plus. Clean clothes. Back out to the boat now.
So what a week that was. Oh. And just after a swim, <laughs> so my hair takes ages to dry. Um, what a week, or ten, nine days. I've been here, well, about 10 days now since I left Ireland. Uh, it's a swell here today, you can, you can feel it. But uh, it's unusual to hear the different sounds again, like dogs barking on the beach, and it's, it's lovely. It's really, I, I'm delighted to be here. So uh, uh, I got lovely comments in, in last week's video, and on all the videos, in fact, people leave lovely comments, and I thank you. And there, there are so many of them that when I do pull in, I don't have time to reply to them all, I'm sorry, but uh, I do read them, I promise I do. I do read them, and I love them. A lot of different stuff, uh, comments, all, all nice, all positive, um, and, and some good feedback about the sound and bits and pieces. And so thanks to everybody for the messages. I also, when I got in, I've been at sea for nine days. I had some new people uh, subscribe to my Patreon, which is really, really cool and very helpful. Thank you. That, that definitely is huge. Um, so a big thanks for that. So uh, stay tuned next week video I'll be sailing to the main island of Madeira which I can't wait to see I, I'm now in Porto Santo a small island northeast of Madeira <coughs> excuse me and uh, that's going to be great as well and sure it, the event the adventure will just continue and so many people saying they're so happy to be along on the trip I'm delighted you're all with me as well that's the whole reason I make the videos uh, there's a lot of work in the videos there really is not just the editing and like if I'm fixing something, I got to position the camera while I fix it, so it takes twice as long. But I love it. I I, I like it, and the, the feedback in the comments are worth it all. It's brilliant. So anyway, wishing everyone a great weekend. Uh, stay safe and be happy, and uh, talk to you soon. Waxwing out. <laughs>